Hey guys, it's Brian here. So, so, I've mostly been filming videos related to Fruits Basket, like the sneak peek, preview, spoiler, pictures, and I haven't really been filming anything else besides that, because I do like to upload once a week, because I feel like if I started uploading twice a week, like, I wouldn't be able to be consistent with that, and I'd rather just personally be consistent. So yeah, I kind of miss just filming videos about, like, manga and anime and not, like, sneak peek. So, I decided to sit down here today and film a different type of anime slash manga related video. And so lately, and when we were quarantining, when life was a lot different, I actually didn't really feel like watching anime a lot and I mostly focused on reading. And I kind of honestly got over reading manga, so I started reading man manhwa. And I think I just really like reading manhwa because I just really, really, I just really, really enjoy seeing like the bright, pretty colors and all that. And I do like how like there's kind of slightly less reading I find. And like, I don't know, and the chapters, like, do they just feel kind of shorter, so it's a lot quicker and easier to read manhwa than manga. So yeah, I've just really, really been obsessing over those, so I decided to make a video focusing on that. I did actually stumble across Noragami, though, and I finished the anime, and now I have been rereading, slash, like, reading all the chapters I missed of Noragami, because, oh my god, that's such a good anime. And manga, it's so underrated. Like, I feel like people don't really talk about it, but it's so good. So yeah, I've been obsessed with that lately, though. But alright, so I guess I should kind of talk about the manhwa that kind of, like, inspired this video, if you will. And so, the main manhwa that I've been, like, obsessed with, like, I love it. Like, I, I can't wait for updates. Like, I am obsessed with it. Like, I cannot get it enough. It is Who Made Me a Princess. I think it's honestly the first manual I've ever read, in all honesty. It was like the first one I ever stumbled across. And it is an un ongoing manual, which kind of really, really sucks, because like I, like I mentioned, I'm so obsessed with it. I'm constantly waiting for updates. Like, I can't get enough. I have read the novel, though, because there is like someone roughly translated the novel. And so I do kind of know the spoilers and that, but like, can't get enough of it. But yeah, long intro like always hopefully I can cut this down so it's a bit shorter but yeah I wanted to make a video like kind of recommending similar manhwa I'm not really sure if like this is a thing or not or what but I'm making it a thing now so with who made me a princess being like the main focal point I figured I'd mention manhwa that are really really similar to it so then like let's say you've read any of the manhwa I mentioned then you'll have more recommendations and more possible manhwa that you might not have heard of to read if you're bored and looking for some more good material to read like hopefully this makes sense like it makes sense in my head but I don't know if this is actually making sense but also that being said who made me a princess and the manhwa I'm going to be mentioning are like the whole reincarnation kind of princess scene sort of thing so if you're not about that you probably won't want to watch this video sorry for wasting your time but yeah so if you haven't read who made me a princess i definitely recommend checking it out because you're missing out on it but if you have read any of these manhwa that i'm going to be mentioning I'll, I'll write them all down below as well just in case you don't want to watch me talk and ramble for god knows how long but if you have read any of these and you've enjoyed any of these odds are you'll enjoy the other ones i'm mentioning I don't know why I'm struggling so hard to make this. But yeah, I'm not gonna like read summaries. I'm trying not to make this video super, super long because I figure like that's not what you'd, that's not what would be ideal. But yeah, basically all you gotta know is if you like princess and like reincarnation and like the good stuff like that in a manhwa with like really, really nice artwork for the most part. There are some that aren't my usual artwork, but I'll get into it. But I will be popping up some pictures. I'll kind of give you like my rating and that's about it. Like I'm really trying to keep it short. So without further ado, let's start talking about all these great manhwa. So I will start off with Who Made Me a Princess. I would honestly probably give that like a 9.5 honestly 10 out of 10 like I am obsessed with it there's roughly 70 chapters I think almost 80 now and it is an ongoing manhwa and so the next one is called the abandoned Ep empress I can I not say that word and there is currently when I'm filming this 116 chapters honestly the artwork is so freaking gorgeous as you can see I love the secondary merit leads like all the male all the males in it honestly superb I'd probably give this like maybe a 9 out of 10 I'd say possibly. I think that's a solid rating. And it is also an ongoing manual. I do have I believe three completed ones. I left them till the end so these are, unless I say otherwise, they're ongoing. And so the next one is I am a child of this house. It has 90 something chapters at the time I'm filming this. Again, the artwork is what sold me on it. It's beautiful. I am so like artwork oriented. I will say who I believe like the romantic lead is or like the 
main male character is. I don't really know how I feel. It is kind of a bit of an odd character, but I'd probably give this like, I'd say a seven out of 10. De I think it's worth the read and checking out. The next one is Daughter of the Emperor. This one is like at 188 chapters. I honestly love it. It is another one I'm really, really obsessed with. The artwork is swell. It's really, really good. My favorite person for like the romantic lead, I feel like he's not gonna be the romantic lead. I don't know, so these aren't spoilers, but I feel like he's not gonna be it, and like it phases me. Like it phases me so much. And so the next one is Seduce the Villain's Father. It only has 34 chapters, and this is a newer read for me, but I do really like the art style. That is why I got into it. I'd honestly probably give it like an 8 out of 10 so far. Like I definitely will probably end up changing that rating but because there is only 30 chapters but it definitely has some promise. Next is Lady Baby. This one is a bit of a newer read for me as well but it does have 86 chapters at the time that I'm filming this. Honestly again the artwork sold me. I will say this Manwa, she does stay a child. Like, she hasn't really aged a lot, and I am 86 chapters in or whatever. So, if you want someone that like grows up quickly, this probably isn't it for you. There are some kind of iffy moments that I don't really care for, but I'd still probably give this like an 8 or 8 of or an 8.5 out of 10. So next is Survive as the Hero's Wife, and oh my god, I completely forgot about this manual. I think this newest season, or the second season, whatever you would call it, it has just started, so they're updating again, you're getting updates. And honestly, I fell in love with it all over again. I'd say like probably a 9.5 out of 10, the artwork is freaking absolutely amazing. And yeah, it's definitely a good one. Also, I'm most- I I noticed I have a glare in my glasses, but like I'm really comfy and like I can't really read without these. So yeah, I hope you guys don't mind. But so the next one is The Black Haired Princess. There's only 28 chapters, so I'm not too sure how I feel about it, but it does kind of seem promising. It definitely isn't my usual artwork, like art style, like no. But like it's kind of growing on me, like I don't really know, but I I, th I see promise. I'd say like it's a 7 out of 10 for now. The next one is The Villainous Reverses the Hourglass. So there is currently 37 chapters, actually there might be 38 today. It is, it doesn't have a lot of chapters so far, but I really really enjoy it. I do believe it has a novel though, because I think I've seen, I've stumbled across spoilers. But I'd probably give this like a 9 out of 10. And I am really excited for new chapters. Next we have Queen with a Scalpel. There's currently 114 chapters. It's a pretty solid uh, manual. I enjoy like the whole like medical and health bits. Like those are just interesting because like I'm into that. But I'd probably give this like an 8.5 out of 10. Another newer one for me is Beware of the Brothers. There's only 39 chapters. It is, there's not too many chapters but I have been enjoying it. I don't really know how I feel about it but I am enjoying so yeah I'd say like 8 out of 10 yeah I think 8 out of 10, eight out of 10. next is the just the justice of a villainous woman it has a hundred chapters and I'd probably give this a 9 out of 10 the artwork next is sincerely I became a duke's maid it has 55 chapters um the new season for this one as well I believe just started so there are new chapters coming so that's awesome I honestly forgot about this one but it is really really good I'd say like an 8.5 out of 10. Then another one I keep forgetting to read, but it's called Charlotte Has Five Disciples. There's only 19 chapters. Well, there honestly might be more now because I always forget to read it. It is a newer read, but I really, really, really like the art style and I have been enjoying it. And honestly, like full disclosure, I solely read this for Jeffrey. And if Jeffrey is an endgame, like I will throw this man manhwa, even though I read it digitally, out the window because like, Here's some pictures of him. And so the last ongoing manhwa I'm going to mention is called Adonis. There's 122 chapters. I'd give this like an 8.5 out of 10. Honestly, I really, really liked it in the beginning. It is a bit confusing. Like, I don't know if I'm just reading it when I'm half asleep or what. But unfortunately, they did change the art style maybe towards the end, like halfway through. And I don't really like the new art style. So that is a kind of a bummer, but I do still like it. And so like I mentioned before, I have three completed mon manhwa because like completed things are just so satisfying. So I figured I'd add a few of those because like waiting for new chapters blows. So the first one is called Light and Shadow. There's 103 chapters. I'd give this like a solid 9.5 out of 10. The art style is a bit different for what I'm used to. And it had like a really, really strong female lead, which is awesome. But yeah, I really, really enjoyed it. And I honestly had that in my want to want to watch this for ages and I just never watched it because I didn't really like the cover photo but like the story was really really good and then I have Empress, Empress of Another World apparently I can't say Empress. Empress, 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 Empress why can't I say it but there is 129 chapters again I give this probably a 9.5 out of 10 it was really really good and then last but not least is 
honestly, I'm going to butcher this name, La Dolce Vita di Adelaide. There's 86 chapters. I'd honestly give it a 7 out of 10. I prefer the other two a lot more. I did enjoy it, but the ending kind of just dragged on that I was really, really kind of bored and just like done with it. But yeah, so that's basically all the manhwa that I have been obsessing over lately and I've been impatiently waiting for update. Honestly, I intended for this video to be on the shorter side, but like I've listed so many that how can I make it super, super short? But yeah, like I mentioned, I've been obsessed with them. But yeah, like I mentioned earlier, odds are if you have read any of those that I've mentioned, you would probably like all the other ones I mentioned. Again, I feel like that makes sense in my head, but like I just don't know. Because they are all really, really similar, like a lot of reincarnation. Not all of them are princess related, realistically though, but they are really, really similar. But yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, like, subscribe, comment, all that fun stuff down below. If you have some more suggestions for me, preferably completed, but like I'll, I'll take ongoing. I have so many in my want to read list now anyways, but like just send them my way. Because like, you know... There's just something so satisfying about starting a new anime or manga or manhwa. Like, I don't know. Like, I have so many I could just complete, but, like, I don't. And also, there's something in my eye, so I'm not crying, just in case you can pick it up. But yeah, that being said, I hope you guys had a great day or are having a great day. Um, hopefully, I'll see you guys in my next video. And, yeah, if you have any suggestions, I'll do that for you. But, yeah, bye, guys.